On this Black Friday, many Occupy Wall Street protesters have told shoppers to stay away from stores. But clearly, they're not listening. After enjoying a hearty Thanksgiving meal last night, showing up here right when stores opened was tough. Was it hard to get out of bed? Uh, yeah, it was pretty hard. But once shoppers got here, it was hard to resist the pull of the stores. The Paluzos have only been here for about five hours, but they've already checked off a lot of items on their list. What have you bought so far? Oh boy, I'll let you ask him. He's been the one buying all this couple stuff. couple airsoft guns, machine gun, and uh, she bought a coffee machine. Just nothing big. And is that all your Christmas shopping, or are you looking for uh, we're just more? We're looking for Christmas shopping, but we haven't made our full list yet. We bought a lot of other stuff for people, too, though. Yeah. And some stuff for ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, what else are you going to do for the rest of the day? The rest of the day, I think we're just going to check off our list and make sure we have everything right. Many started their shopping right when Quaker Bridge Mall opened at midnight, but some couldn't wait till then and started even earlier, at 10 o'clock last night. How's Black Friday been for you? Uh, very hectic. I actually went to Walmart at 10 o'clock last night, and it was a madhouse. I actually uh, was fighting in line for people for like half an hour, so that was crazy. What were you trying to get? Uh, I went there to get a waffle maker, but they were actually all gone when I went there, so I was pretty upset about that. And people were like fighting over Xboxes and stuff, so that was crazy. I don't think I would do it again. <laughs> Not badly. <that late. laughs> and what about today? What are you looking for? Uh, we went to JCPenney's to find some Christmas shopping for my cousins and stuff. I'm actually a pretty good deal, so... I really like it. I'm happy I came. For those who got a head start, this mall is the third they visited already. A couple of malls this morning, so it was really crowded. I mean, I saw lines outside Express, like wrapping around the store, so it's been kind of hectic. It's my third mall this morning. But did you buy anything? I did. It's in the car. <laughs> of course, the huge draw of Black Friday are those special deals, and in this economy, we could all use a few discounts here and there. You've been finding sales? Yes, a lot of sales. So. so what have you been looking for? Um, mostly toys, um, electronics. Uh, she wants an iPad, so just whatever's on sale. So. Luckily, Black Friday is early enough in the season that no one needs to feel guilty about just looking out for themselves. It's been crazy. People are like animals on Black Friday. But um, I did manage to get a few good things. What would you get? A pair of boots and a jacket. And are you looking for shopping for anybody else or just for yourself? Just for myself. Yeah. Anything else you want? Um, not really, no. I wanted the iPod, but, you know, you can't really get an iPod at the mall. Store owners appreciate the large number of shoppers here. They set up early this morning, but they admit that they had hoped for a bigger turnout. How's the shopping been? Um, it's been okay. Not as great as we thought it would be, um, but it's been pretty good still. But I think a lot of people are here to, you know, shop the major stores. So um, as they go by, we're trying to get good discounts here. So, right, But obviously you want to be here for open black Friday. Oh, right? absolutely. We started at 4 this morning. So um, it's been good. Good business so far. While there's much to enjoy while shopping today, here are a few safety tips to make sure no unpleasant experience ruins your day. Possible shopping numbers. Um... If carrying a lot of packages, you know, make frequent trips to your vehicle to secure those packages, but make sure they're out of sight. You know, don't put them in the vehicle where somebody can take a look at them. Um, so put them in your trunk? Yes, make sure they're secured in your trunk. You know, try not to carry a lot of personal belongings, you know, jewelry, uh, wallet full of cash. Make sure that's all secured on you as well. For those who didn't get lucky enough to get the day off to shop today, there's always the weekend. Reporting in Lawrence, Sibyl Morenci, WZBN News.